Today, I'm in a remote spot in the far eastern area of the lakes, in the Horswater Valley, to climb to the summit of High Street. Now, as the name suggests, this is quite literally a high street, an ancient route well-trodden for at least 2,000 years. Today, I'm setting out to discover why legions of Roman soldiers who trudged across this glorious fell fired the imagination of the young Alfred Wainwright. The name High Street intrigued Wainwright so much so, he climbed it during his first visit to the lakes in 1930, when he was just 23. Well, that's where I'm heading. So let's take a look at the route. From the car park, the walk begins from amidst the reservoir's headwaters. My route now follows the lake shore before reaching the conifer plantation on the rig. The path now strikes up a well-defined ridge. I'll pass along the summits of Heron Crag, Swine Crag, Eagle Crag and Rough Crag. From the ridge, the view looks into Bleewater Crag and down upon Bleewater Tarn, with the lesser tarn of small water beyond it. Here, the ridge narrows into the steep and rocky staircase called Long Style. That brings me to a small cairn where the ridge is met by the plateau. A grassy path leads across the vast plateau that gives High Street its name, heading towards an old triangulation column and a huge open vista that is the summit's true top. The indistinct route of the Roman road lies here, between the two visible paths. <laughs> 